Mail carrier in Wheat Ridge is being hailed a hero this afternoon for helping a child in danger. Andrew Ressler spotted a car idling on the side of the road while on the job. After approaching the car, what he saw and heard made him call 911. The closer I got, I heard my mommy's dead. So immediately ran over there and dropped my mail in this lady's front yard and make sure the kid was out of the back seat first and then checked on the mom. Um, she was slumped over. Wheat Ridge police say the mother had overdosed. By the time officers arrived, she'd woken up and she admitted to taking a fentanyl pill. The woman's six-year-old daughter who was with her told officers who helped her that mother is now facing child abuse charges and now Wheat Ridge officers say they're grateful Ressler was there. School is less than a month away for some children and now medical professionals are urging parents to get their kids up to date on immunizations if you haven't already. According to the World Health Organization in 2021, the number of completely unvaccinated children increased by 5 million since 2019. Data from the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment shows that 94% of public schools are in compliance with state mandated vaccines. But during the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of children fell behind on the set schedule for immunizations recommended by the Centers for Disease control. The most important thing is to discuss with their pediatrician where their children are in terms of meeting the vaccine requirements for each age group um, because if they're behind the, the pediatrician has the ability to kind of catch them up. Routine immunizations protect children against 16 infectious diseases including measles and chickenpox. President Biden is in isolation after testing positive for COVID-19 yesterday morning. The positive diagnosis coming less than a day after the president returned from Massachusetts to address climate change and after, after last week's trip overseas. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. President Biden in isolation for a second day now after testing positive for COVID-19 Thursday. Officials say he's experiencing mild symptoms like a runny nose, a dry cough and fatigue. And I really appreciate your inquiry and your concerns. But I'm doing well. The 79 year old president saying he's doing great, making phone calls, attending meetings virtually, and continuing to fulfill his duties. He is fully vaccinated and double boosted, and now taking the antiviral drug Paxlovid given his age. I think it's the right thing to do for anybody who's at elevated risk, as defined by the CDC FDA, which basically is anyone over the age of 50. Anybody under 50 who's got chronic diseases, I actually think a broad swath of Americans who are getting infected should be getting Paxlovid. Uh, the president, of course, no exception. Today, he's holding several virtual meetings, including one with his economic team, to discuss lowering gas prices. We're getting a lot of work done, going to continue to get it done, and uh, 